endless PK shootouts, a Russian super soldier program, and spies infiltrating our squad. Welcome to the Russian Premier League, where I will be taking charge as manager of Spartak Moscow for one season. Will I be able to lead the team to League and Cup glory, or will we crash and burn? Let's find out. The first thing I had to do as manager was set up my team. I snagged a 4-2-4 formation that seemed like it would lead to loads of dingers in the final third. We definitely had a few deep holes to fill, though. We could use some brand new outside backs and a hefty defensive midi to clog up the center of the field. Let's get these gargantuan Russian lads on the field. With that, we pressed on to our intra-squad friendly. We were winning this match, glucking up our JV team, popping in three easy goals until they got a red card, which fired them up. They managed to claw their way back into the match, scoring four goals on us, making us look silly. Losing to our own backup squad, a fantastic way to begin the season. I knew we had a lot of work cut out for us. After that, I returned to a weirdly ominous email in my inbox. Dear Breckley, I am Secret Agent Barkalov. I am emailing you to inform you that we will be needing the services of your players for a time being. The Russian military is attempting to develop super soldiers for use in our operations. For this, we need Russia's top athletes. We will be borrowing Melishin, Denisov, and Moses until further notice. We appreciate your patience. Kinda sucks. Kinda ominous though. A little weird. With three players departing for service, we had to hit the transfer market harder than a hobo hitting a ham sandwich. I scoured the free agent market, slinging out tons of contracts to potential stud players before entering our first string of three friendlies. Our first spinner was against Russian side Sokol. We snuck in an easy three to one victory. Yay! Straight up dinger, where we bagged an easy peasy goal to a silly error by their keeper. The goalie didn't even move, look. That is awful. After that, we took it to Kamaz, also from Russia, where we cooked them up like a Thanksgiving turkey, moist, warm, and just like Mama used to make. A sneaky five to one victory, nothing to scoff at. Lastly, we played Baltica, Bal Bal Baltica? We beat them up one to nothing in a highly contested close game. Three wins and three friendlies, a spicy way to start the season for sure. But still, we had holes in our squad that we had to address. We scouted out the transfer market like no other. We managed to sign two stellar free transfer signings. Tater, a defensive midi with star potential who would slot perfectly into the center of our team, and Musa Wage, an electric right back who would immediately impact our wing on attack and defense. With these new signings in tote, let's get her done, boy. We lined up our big, sweaty, meaty group of Russian and international men for the first cup final of the season. You heard me right. We had the Super Cup final against rivals and title contenders, Zenit. Let's get her done. They came out hot right out of the gate, bending in an absolutely wild screamer of a goal. That thing was curvier than your mother. Then they parked the bus, playing some hardcore defense. That is, until we popped in a little pinger, taking them straight to a peak. PK shootout. First game of the season and we were already in PKs. This was definitely set up to be a wild ride. They scored. Then we missed. Then they scored again. We got one of our own. They scored another. So did we. They got one more. We popped in another. Then we were at the crucial last goal. If they scored, they were champions. If we saved it, no! Some silverware would have been nice, but we had some Premier League games to focus on. We turned our attention to the first league game of the season against Dynamo. Decent little team we got here. We dropped an early goal, but boot and rally to score three more goofers, even with striker Nicholson earning a red card. After that, we brought it to Akmat. This game was easier than getting your mother's phone number. We put the pace on them and worked them in a nice four to one victory. With the win under our belt, we immediately turned our attention to Krylia Sovetov, where we absolutely stuck it to them, scoring a 20-second goal. Ooh, 20 seconds? Heck yeah! Which I learned was the quickest goal in club history, Pog. We then absolutely glucked, sucked, and yucked them up in a 4 nothing victory, where we scored this absolute beauty of a bar-down dinger. That was 
filthy. After our first three league games, I got back to business, hitting the transfer market harder than a mule kicking a rattlesnake. I went hunting for a new quality player for our back third, a big man to hold down the fort. I slung out a bunch of transfer offers and contracts and managed to snag a banger of a player. Hong Jong Ho, an absolute lad of a center back who would slot right into our team perfectly. But little did I know the secret he was hiding. With our new spicy big lad in tow, we pressed forward on to our next three league matches. We stuck it to Perry in an epic match where we just simply couldn't be stopped. We scored goal after goal after goal. We gave them a hand job. I mean, handedly beat them six to nothing in a match that I learned was Spartak's biggest win ever. But then we squared up with Akmat in a tough match closer than your mother and I. They scored early. We clapped and slapped back, but then they popped in a second. Our inner demon took over. Please don't be a red. Please don't be a red. And Ripus earned a red card. Nonetheless, we pressed on to our next Premier League match against Orenburg. We yerked, jerked, jerked, and worked them three to one in a spicy match that even had Bunny so hyped up she started speaking in Russian herself. Если ты не подписан, ты маленькая сучка. What the heck, Bunny? That's messed up. After our fifth Premier League match, we were in a cool second place. I was happier than a rooster in a hen house. For now, that is. Ooh, ominous foreshadowing. Ooh. After that, I returned to the group stage draw of the Russian Cup. We drew Krasnodar, Lokomotiv Moscow, and Torpedo Moscow. Three solid Premier League teams in a round-robin style group where the top team, hopefully us, would press on into the playoffs. But before we played those matches, we had league games to sneak on through. We absolutely ran a train on Kimki, beating them in another stellar 6-0 victory where they could just not stop us from scoring. An amazing victory victory that had me feeling like a managerial genius. Nice! Another 6-0 win, baby. Then, believe it or not, we stepped it up a notch against Ural. We scored and scored and scored, dinged and pinged, jerked and gurked, beating them up in a cozy 7-0 victory. Another record for the team. After that, we squared up against CSKA Moscow, a stellar team, a contender for the title. This was a match. It was more boring than watching paint dry on a cloudy day. It ended 0 to 0, and even Bunny had something to say about it. Я буду мочиться на пол. Thankfully, though, we followed that up with our first Russian Cup match. We lined up against Torpedo Moscow with a fairly rotated squad. Nonetheless, we took it to them harder than a swarm of mosquitoes on a hot summer's night. We beat them up in a convincing 2 0 victory. I returned to my inbox to receive another message that our players had been drafted. We were losing crucial star striker Sobolev and solid left back classes. Only this time, we got something in return. We got back Melishin, who had recently been drafted, except something was different. He was absolutely jacked, juiced to the gills, an absolute ogre of a man, a perfect athletic specimen. Only issue was he'd gotten pretty stupid and lost a lot of actual skill. Regardless, I was super excited to see how our beast of a player would perform. We threw the big old ogre into the lineup and hit the races. In his first match back against Fakel, the beautiful, beefy boy absolutely wreaked havoc. He scored right away and ended up bagging a wildly impressive four goals in this match. He absolutely shrecked them, leading us to a banging 6-1 victory. Needless to say, this was our swamp now. We press on, baby. Next, we squared up with Sochi, where Bunny was hungry for goals. And I mean hungry. Thankfully, we continued our popping form, banging in three spicy little goals, cruising to a nice three to one victory. Pog. Then we had two Russian Cup games to swim through. First, we took it to Torpedo Locomotive with a slightly rotated squad. Nevertheless, our big, juicy, thick Russian lads went to work and tickled them silly in another cheeky three to one win. Then though, we had a wild, wild match against Krasnodar. We started out strong, popping in a little pinger of a goal, but then they soon crashed us back, and then they parked the bus like an angry school bus driver yelling at the kids in the back seat. They took us straight to a penalty shootout. I was not prepared. Penalties? What 
the heck? We scored. Then they missed. Pog. Then we scored again. They popped one in. We did right after. They cooked one in. We creamed one in. They drizzled one in too. And then we managed to hit the post harder than a woodpecker hitting a pine tree. No! What? It was all downhill from here. We went back and forth until our goalie just gave them the final goal. He didn't even move. Let's just say I was an angry little man. I took that water bottle and tossed that sucker like a hot potato on a summer's day. Yeah. After that abysmal showing, we headed back to the league with a chip on our shoulder and three games to gluck our way through. We faced off with Locomotive. We yucked them up hard, chucking a toasty 3-1 to -one victory down their throats. A great bounce back compared to our last showing. Nice! 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 Then we went mano a mano with first place Zenit. Battle for top of the league. This was a ridiculous back and forth match. We scored. They scored. We scored. They scored. We went back and forth until we popped in an absolute dinger. Bunny and I were on cloud nine. We closed the game out four to three. A tremendous win for the laddies. I thought this match would catapult us into first place. We're first in the league, baby. But alas, we were still stuck in second. We had work to do. Next was our first daily double. We had back-to-back -back matches with Torpedo. First, we faced off with them in a silly little league match. We continued our big, beautiful form and sucked them off. I mean, beat them off. I mean, beat them up in a gang bust. 4-1 to one win. Then, we returned to the cup for a rematch. We absolutely yucked them up again. We were doing so well that Bunny started hitting the bottle in celebration. What? Are you hitting the bottle again? When I returned to my inbox after this stellar string of matches, I was stunned by what I saw. No! Oh, what the heck? Promise was hurt for three months due to a devastating trading accident with Melishin the Ogre. It seemed that the big brute had had a twinge of the roid rage and absolutely destroyed him during practice. He hurt our boy, Bunny! Even worse, though, during the injury investigation by the club, it was revealed that our new signee, Hong Jong Ho, was actually a secret agent spy sent to collect information about the Russian super soldier project. It would be no longer available to our squad. What the actual f is happening? After this complete debacle, I shifted the team around and we hit the league again. In our next match against Rostov, they scored an absolute dinger of a first goal, which fired us up. We got to cooking and started screaming in goals. We pinged in goal after goal, netting a dope four to two victory. We were back in form, like the team I knew and loved. <coughs> Then, we tied Dynamo in a boring one-to-one -one game. They can't all be that exciting. After that, we returned to the cup against Krasnodar, a win that would secure us a place in the next round. This match was tighter than two frogs in a bucket. They scored first, but thankfully, we dug deep and cracked back. Then, Krasnodar parked the bus, trying their best to drag us into a penalty shootout. But alas, we scored a sweet last-second goal and secured the dub. Pug. This, combined with an easy-peasy 1-0 win against Locomotive, put us at the top of our cup group, ensuring our advancement into the next stage. Now that we had qualified for the cup playoffs, it was time to return to the league. We took it to Perry, tearing them to absolute shreds. We pinged in goal after goal, even netting this incredible bar down dinger. This cracking 5-2 victory bumped us up to the top of the table. We weren't the only team on a hot streak, though. CSKA Moscow was lurking below us, just waiting to pounce. It was November, though, and winter was about to wallop Russia. It was time for our squad to go on holiday, to take our cheeky little mid-season break until late January. Alrighty, vacation time, baby. I guess I can go, uh, I don't know, do something else with my time. So I said goodbye to the team and hello to vacation. When I returned from holiday, it was straight back to business. First, I sorted through the ridiculous amount of emails I had, and then I hit the transfer market harder than a fly hitting a windshield. I found that somehow we had a whopping $18 million to play with. I really had no idea how this happened. Some money laundering or something? The answer was probably somewhere balls deep in all the emails I skipped through, but I was too lazy to search for the reason why. Regardless, 
I needed to reinforce the lower third of our squad, the rear end, if you will. I dug deep and threw around funds every which way. I managed to sign stellar center back Kara Mbdaj, an immediate impact player for our squad, and Russian sensation CDM Glebov, who would be a star player, adding some much needed quality to the engine of our team. With our new big bad boys in tow, we hit the ground running. We squared up against Ural for the first leg of the Russian Cup quarterfinals. Needless to say, we were clinical, bagging an easy peasy three to nothing victory. A match easier than getting your mother's phone number. Before the next leg of the cup though, we had two prem matches to bust on through. First, we lined up against Krylia Sovetov. We reached a new gear, hitting the races faster than a NASCAR driver. We slapped Sovetov around and snuck away with a three to one victory and then immediately turned our attention to Kimki. We ran through them, scoring two banging dingers, sending them packing back to wherever they came from. With these wins in the bag, we were a booming five points clear of the competition. But behind us was streaking CSKA Moscow, a team who was gutting for our position, and soon they'd have an opportunity to steal it. We then returned to the Russian Cup in the second leg of the quarterfinals against Ural. We didn't skip a beat. We popped in a pinger like stealing candy from a baby. We ran away with the 3-0 win and moved on to the semifinals where we drew CSKA Moscow, one of our rivals, one of the most intimidating teams in all of Russia. Needless to say, we had our work cut out for us. Between now and then though, we had a couple league games to sneak on through. First, we stuck it to Ural again. We beat them up in a sweet and spicy two to one victory. Bonnie was ecstatic. Then we boogied on over to Orenburg with a slightly rotated squad. We still beat them in a cool one nothing match though. Next, we had another daily double against CSKA Moscow. First, we squared up with them in the first leg of the Russian Cup playoffs. We brought our A game and we took them to a 0-0 draw in a match with almost no highlights. Then we immediately rematched them in a league game. This this was another wild match. Sadly though, CSKA had our number on this day. They banged in a lucky goal and drug us down in a 1-0 loss. Before we had to replay them again in the second leg of the playoffs though, we had a match against Fakel to bust through. After our rough run of form, we had a fire lit under us. We hit the ground running and ran up quite the tally, beating them 3-0 in a saucy little win. Then we returned to the Russian Cup with our second match against CSKA. SKA. We were ready to deliver some sweet, sweet revenge. We immediately got to cooking and absolutely ate them up. We screamed in four delicious goals, taking them to a toasty 4-1 to one victory. A much needed win that would soar us over them into the next round, the finals against Krasnodar. Nice! Before then, we returned to the league where things were heating up. We were in first place and looking to keep it that way. First, we squared off against Locomotive in a thrilling 0-0 tie. Great. After that, we faced off with Sochi. We stuck it to them. Our big lads beat them silly in a convincing 3-0 win. Too good. Then, we had one of the craziest matches of the season against Torpedo. This was a magical day for our boys. Truly something special. We were on top of the world and simply could not be stopped. We even scored some absolute Dingers. We thrashed Torpedo around like they were nothing. Even Bunny was jacked up. That was bonkers, Bunny. Then we returned to the Russian Cup finals for another double header against Krasnodar. We were ready to hit the ground running and yuck them up. They threw a wrench into our plans though. They popped in two goals and sent us immediately packing. Now we gotta win the next finals by at least two. Ugh. But before then, we had two league matches to get through. Things were getting hot and spicy in the table, but we were in first place and so close to clinching the title. First, we rematched Krasnodar, the team who had just beat us up. We wanted revenge. We were on them like white on rice. We shucked them like an ear of corn and we were a corn hungry man. We beat them down in a spicy three to one win. Why we couldn't do that in the cup, I have no idea. Where was that last game? Man. Then we squared off with rival Zenit. This game was for all the marbles. First place versus second. And if we won, we would secure the league title for good. Whoo! 
that league title's looking awful tasty. Thankfully, our lads got the message. We took it to them harder than a hound dog on a rabbit trail. We popped in three quick goals. Easy peasy. They clapped back, though. They scored two goals to bring it up to a hairy three to two. This didn't stop us, though. We cracked in another two easy goals and won the league. Oh, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Then we returned to the Russian Cup final where we were 2-0 against Krasnodar. This game was crucial. We had to make a statement if we wanted to win. Get it on. Laser focus. We came out hot, pinging in a spicy little goal right off the bat. They didn't take too kindly to this, though. They cracked us back right away and then slung in another. Not ideal. Our big, thick Russian lads dug deep, though. We pulled out a saucy goal to tie the match up, and then we popped in another. The win was in sight. All we needed to do was make one more goal to take them to a penalty shootout, a light at the end of the tunnel. But sadly, it wasn't in the cards. They parked the bus and shut us out, winning the cup in the process. Screw you, Krasnodar. You're dead to me. But we'd see them again soon, though. After that, we had the last league game of the season against Rostov. We lost a disappointing 2-1 to loss. But who cares? We already won the league. Didn't matter. Then, we returned to another Russian cup? I think this one was really related to the league, but I wasn't sure. Regardless, we wanted to win it. We took it to Rostov. We hit them harder than a freight train, sloshing them around in a juicy 5 to do victory. Pog. Then we reached the grand finals against Krasnodar, the team who had just knocked us out of the last cup. Time for some sweet, sweet revenge, baby. This time, we meant business. They didn't stand a chance. We rocked them 2-0 and sent them packing. Nice try, losers. Oh, we did it! <laughs> With that, the season was over. One cup trophy and a league title to our name. Not too shabby if I do say so myself.